Sealan or Kalan. I forget how to pronounce your name. Famous YouTuber. Hey, what's up? Eighty dollars, bro. Dang, well, you can afford it apparently. <laughs> I got a I got a question for you. It's a bit juicy. Uh, oh boy. Okay. Yeah. So, like, uh, probably like a week ago, I was screaming, uh, talking to my Taiwanese audience, and then I was being a React Andy, watching someone else talk about some other stuff, and then this guy, just like mentioned that. Uh, something along the lines that uh, he says, and I quote: "He says I don't like gays, uh, but uh, I don't, I, I don't, I won't be friends with gays. But I support lesbian. It's fine. But gays, I find a little bit disgusting, whatever. But I will support your right to marriage." Okay. And is this a Taiwanese here? Listen, yeah, yeah, it's like a. Okay. Uh, he's from Hong Kong, but he's uh, doing content to a Taiwanese audience. Okay. So immediately upon hearing that, you know, with my liberal uh, brainwashed brain i was like that sounds very wrong right so i was talking to my audience how you shouldn't discriminate people based on stuff that they cannot change and stuff like that and my audience uh who's also taiwanese i think a lot of them some of them probably are a bit homophobic and they didn't get the western liberalism brainwash whatever so they were like oh it's it's totally his uh freedom to to hate people uh based on if it, it doesn't matter if it's like something he's born with if he doesn't like uh people for being gay he should be able to to dis to dislike it i mean you, you cannot control people's thoughts and i agree with that i was just being like yeah but like we should move towards a society where people don't hate gays and stuff like that uh but then i was watching a lot of your videos about like incest and like incest debates and that is a whole nother rabbit hole it made me like deconstruct my whole moral uh uh, system. So I don't know, like, because intuit intuitively, uh, I after watching your whole incest debate, I don't I don't know if there's like a difference between like discriminating gay people or discriminating people because they like incest. So like, if intuitively, I feel like I should have the freedom to uh, dislike people who do incest. Why can't some people uh, dislike homos? So that's like uh, my. That is where I'm at right now. Like, could you give an argument as to why you shouldn't voice a homophobic uh, thoughts? I think that publicly. yeah. So the first thing you have to do is, and you have to be careful to separate out like what mm -hmm. we're talking about. So if your um, if your first question is like, can you dislike gay people? Uh, I think you can mm -hmm. dislike anybody you want for almost any reason. Um, like I think like in your personal life, like for your personal feelings, uh, that's. Probably not the best, but you know, it's you're allowed to have your um, you're allowed to have your thoughts and feelings. Uh, but it's important to I recognize agree. that yes. there's a big difference between disliking somebody and like discriminating against somebody. That starts to get into like a different type of territory, you know, um, where it's probably never okay to discriminate against somebody. Like you're not hiring somebody for a job, you're treating somebody like shit, or like the way that you treat people is a lot different than how you personally feel about somebody. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I, I. I, I understand that uh, whatever you think, it's like it's your own business. But like, when does it ever cross the line? Like, so if I if I were to make a public statement that uh, that is along the lines of I don't like homos, but I support your rights to marriage or whatever, is that like morally right? Or should we make a case that you shouldn't say those things, even though you think about those things? Um. I don't know why you'd ever make that public statement. It just seems like you'd get just get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> like, um, I, mean, I agree, but like mm -hmm. some people will defend their right to express that opinion. They will quote whatever freedom of speech. Even yeah, I mean, that's if you want to, well, the means. problem is when you head into that extreme direction, you've got to be ready yeah. for it to swing the other way. So some people might say I should be allowed to express that opinion that I don't like gay people, and that's it, boom. And it's like, okay, if you want to express that opinion, you can. But you can't then get shocked when other people are like, "Oh, okay. Well, I don't like you anymore. Like, I'm not going to spend any time with you, or I'm going to just like I'm not going to associate with you because you said that. Like, because you're taking a pretty that's a pretty extreme like freedom of speech. Like, oh, I should have the right to be able to um, feel however I want to feel about gay people. Well, okay, fine. But if you're going to express that in public terms, other people are going to express things pretty like powerfully against you in public terms. And I think you just have to be ready for that. Yeah. You know? Mm, right, so like it's to use your own moral system to to point out their inconsistencies and be like, oh, if you want to think like this, then other people can think like that about you as well. Basically, Whether yeah. It is, 
yeah, if if you're like Asians and some people don't like Asians, then they can just hate Asians because they hate Asians, and they can voice that opinion. Is sure. that society you want to live in? Yeah, that and keep in mind argument. again, three very different things: personally disliking Asian people versus stating publicly that you dislike Asian people versus discriminating against Asian people. All three of these are like very different things, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I was also down this rabbit hole about uh, Islam <laughs> for okay. some reason. Because I probably like watched one of your video about debating with a Muslim. Uh, so like, what if what if someone were to say, okay, I dislike or or, or I, I I oppose for gay having sex because it is said in the Quran. Uh, therefore, that's my morals, and you cannot impose your morals onto me. Um, again, difference in like, are we talking personal opinion? Or are we talking legislatively? Because those are two very different things. For personal opinions and in your household, you can teach really, I mean, whatever you want. You have a right to, to your own personal feelings about things. But in terms of, like, how you view things societally, it's going to look a lot different. Um, yeah, it's going to look a lot different. Yeah. Um, so, what, yeah, clarify, I guess. So, so like, there's this idea where the Western societies is uh, imposing their own morals onto other uh, countries and cultures. Uh, especially in China, that's, like, the main narrative that you will find that they will oppose human rights or oppose like uh, the, the Western idea of human rights or freedom of speech or uh, freedom of not discriminating people. Uh, and it, it's, it's a type of uh, moral relativism. Mm -hmm. So like, um, so if someone were to say like, you cannot impose your morals onto me, whatever it, it, it be like rule utilitarianism or whatever. And they say like my morals, which is from the Quran is better than, you, uh, it's not, it's not inherently worse than your morals. Like, in that case, what argument could you make? Um, when it comes to religious that, differences of like fundamental like moral belief, you can't really reconcile those differences. Like right. there, there's just there's nothing you can do because it's religious. Okay, I see. But like you could make an could you make an argument then, if in in some countries where they embrace Islamic laws uh, and where they execute gay people, could you make an argument to that is uh, morally incorrect? I mean, from your perspective, it is. But again, when we start getting this, is one of the reasons why I don't like religion is because you can't really argue about it, right? Like if your holy book mm -hmm. says a particular thing and that's like the foundation on which you build like your epistemic and ethical realities, um, like what am I, how can I possibly argue against you, right? Like if somebody in your holy book says you need to kill gay people, well, who the fuck am I to disagree, you know? That's, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't like, that makes the religious shit like very difficult to contend with. Right. It's a, it's a bit circular that, you know, because it said so in my book, so therefore I am right. It's, it's impossible to argue against. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, so for you, you will just concede that, yeah, it is impossible to argue. Therefore, I'm not going to argue. Yeah. What it. I would argue against is I would say that, like, that type of religious thought is incompatible with a free society because it infringes too much on the rights of others. But if you live under, like, a caliphate or if you live in, like, a religious theocratic society, then, I mean, my opinions don't matter. My opinions only matter insofar as, like, liberal democracies go or liberal society goes. What if, what if they were to say, oh, isn't the Western uh, liberalism all predicated on uh, personal freedom and tolerance? Why can't you tolerate my religion? Um, I mean, I could, but if you start like saying that other people need to get killed for being gay, now you're infringing on other people's rights. That's kind of the issue, right? What if they were in the Western uh, society like the USA and they were like, oh, I don't like, um, I, I want to publicly voice the opinion that I'm homophobic because in the Quran, gay acts is very sinful. I mean, in well, you that have the right. Case, you can publicly you... express it. That's fine. But there's a difference between that and like wanting to kill gay people, right? Which I thought is what you said initially. Right. Right, but but then you see like the the leftist uh, woke movement of uh, <laughs> I'm gonna sound like a I'm not a right winger I swear I'm like very <laughs> left but like I'm totally deconstructing my belief after you know watching the whole incest debate or whatever <laughs> okay. so I just want to know where these uh, I want to have these leftist uh, ideas and and being woke but like I I have to figure out the fundamental about them so like. You see in the Western society, like a lot of LGBT people, that they will march and they will, uh, they will, they will require you to tolerate their existence. Basically, uh, I mean, yeah, some people they push for, push for themselves to not be discriminated in the workplace and stuff like that. But they always, they will also push for uh, people to not be homophobic or for people to, basically, not dislike them just because they are gay. Uh, and in that case, if they were to go head to head with someone who believes in the Quran, 
I mean, like uh, th- these LGBT groups, people can they impose their own morals of uh, freedom of not discriminating on those people who believe in Islam? So, um, what what could be the moral basis for them to do that? Again, it's it's just going to depend on what the limits of what we're talking about. Are we talking about like not getting killed in society? I think gay people have a strong argument. Um, if we're talking about like getting to live without people not liking you, I think you have a much weaker argument. Like LGBT people don't have a right to be like loved. Um, mm. Like you, you, you know. So again, there's a, just a difference. You have to be. If you're going to start breaking these apart, it's very important to break apart. Like, what exactly are we talking about? Because like the right to like exist in a society without like oppression or without um, uh, w- without being like murdered is way different than like the right to have people like you. Right? Those are two f- completely and totally different things. You know. That's kind of where I say that, like, I think progressives push the line too far. So for, like, trans people, um, I think they should have a right to whatever medical care, whatever equal treatment society they want. That's fine. But when they start getting into, like, oh, it's transphobic not to want to have sex with their data trans person, like, no, hold on. Like, people should have to tolerate you legally. That should be the law. But that doesn't mean people have to like you or support, like, personally, like, what you do. Right. Okay. I see. Um, Okay. If it's not arguing against someone who is religious, for example, it is still useful to to advocate for people to not oppress other people just because of uh, of, uh, of your inherent differences, be it sexual orientation or race. Well, uh, in, li- in liberal yeah. society, c- keep in mind, I'm going to keep saying that, in liberal society, when you're, when you're in other structures, other societal compositions, especially non-democratic ones and illiberal ones, not liberal ones, those rules can change significantly. Um, we... Where where are you from? If you don't mind me asking, like, are you? Do you live in? Um, I I'm. It's pretty complicated. I'm half Chinese and uh-huh. I'm half Belgian. I I live in both Belgium, both Belgium and uh, China, but mainly I grew up and study in China, and now I work in Taiwan. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so like, it, so a lot of what I say is like. I'm giving you like a very Western take on things when you talk about like liberal progressive values. But when you start to get into more, I don't know if I would say like authoritarian areas or things where like the culture like is dictated more by the government, like those values and how they play out in society, those are going to change pretty significantly. Um, So just, yeah, you always got to be aware of that, that like you're like the way that you live and the way that you view people in Belgium, uh, you know, isn't necessarily going to be the same as how people view each other in China or like what the responsibilities of the governments are or the rights of the individual citizens. Like these are going to change pretty dramatically when styles of government or organizations of society significantly differ. Right. Yeah, I see. I see like an argument that is being made uh, uh, against like uh, gays, for example, in those authoritative uh, places Mm -hmm. where people will say, yeah, if we if we allow gays to be married, then it will uh, dissolve the family structure. Yeah, Uh, that sort of argument. Like what what would be a counter argument to that? Um, I just I don't think that's true. I don't think that people turn gay. I don't think that families are threatened by gay people like existing. I just I, I don't believe it. I don't see how that I don't even I don't even know what the hypothetical connection is. Um, unless you're yeah. saying that like, you know, if people see like the guy there was a guy I argued with today on a podcast who thought that like people can turn gay if they're exposed to gayness too much. Um, which I just I don't believe that's the case. I don't think that happens. But I mean, maybe if people believe that, then that's kind of their worry. Right. Hmm. True. Yeah, I guess I guess it's just uh, easier uh, because it's it's very if I don't figure out these fundamentals and I go on my stream and be like, hey guys, you shouldn't be homophobic, and if I cannot give a reason and I just use those like woke lingo, people will be like, you're in, and they literally do. They they will they will say you're imposing your Western whatever value onto us. Mm-hmm. So like I have to uh, I have to like figure out what the fundamentals are which is i guess is the is the rule utilitarianism way of looking at things um well just you just flip their own moral system onto them yeah kind of you just have to be careful because when you're talking like fundamental is going to mean different things depending on a lot of things like fundamentally the way that two people resolve a disagreement in school is going to be different because their fundamentals are actually like really closely aligned in a school, right? Fundamentally, the way two people in a city resolve things are going to be the same. But like fundamentally, the way two people from different religions resolve things might look a lot different because now their fundamentals, like when you say like, oh, like my wife and I have a fundamental disagreement on something. 
Well, do you really have a fundamental, like do you have a different metaphysical understanding of reality? When you say fundamentally different, like are you guys coming from a totally, or do you just mean like you have like a uh, really high level disagreement that's like abstracted away from that a lot, right? Whereas when we start to argue against people in different countries, very few people have any experience whatsoever with that. But people make the mistake of thinking that they can impose their their country's like moral understandings or ethical understandings or rules, that they can impose those on other countries. And those conversations are just way, 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 way more difficult to have. And people don't realize it. They take, they take it for granted. Personally, I think it's a little cringe when people try to instill like their value system over to another country, except for in really basic ways. Like for instance, you shouldn't be like mass genociding or raping women or shit like that. It's probably like, like there are really basic things that we can probably agree on, but past that, you know, you have to let people, you know, live and let live, even if people massively disagree with your view of the world, you know? Right. So my argument to them will be, I mean, Taiwan is still a pretty progressive place where, you know, they don't follow the uh, authoritative regime and they don't, they're not religious. I mean, I mean, some people are, but they don't follow a holy book for their moral guidance, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, most of the people. So I guess you could still use the progressive way of saying, like, if you don't want to, if you don't want to be oppressed yourself as an Asian in an, another country, for example, then you should oppress gays because social, uh, sexual orientation is not something you choose. Um, maybe, but pe like, there's going to be, depending on the system you're working through, there's going to be a lot of arguments against that. Like, there's no reason to discriminate it against like Asian people because they're just other humans. Like, why should that matter? But gay people threaten the natural order of the world and the way we're supposed to use our bodies to um, to create family units that are the foundation for society, right? So people say, well, no, hold on, I can be homophobic, yeah. but you can't be racist. That's there's a difference, right? People can argue against that. Yeah. 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 So I, I was just about to ask that. Like, what is well, how do you make? How do you? What is the argument uh, to say that being uh, your sexual orientation is just like your race? Uh, I, I, do, I don't think. I don't think you can. I think that there, it's incommensurate. Like two different mm. countries can't. I don't think can really reconcile moral disagreement like that. I think the only way the world works is you kind of just have to let people do their shit in other countries. Um, again, except for like in exceptional circumstances of like genocide or mass rapes or something, or like political prisoner torture or, or stuff like that, you kind of have to let different countries develop at different rates. Otherwise you get into a weird situation where it's like you're actually trying to instill your moral values on the world, which again, yeah, it's probably not like the right thing to do. I understand. I, I still want to go with my previous point because I think my argument, I mean, in my, in my head it sounds sound because my, my argument is that you shouldn't oppress people based on things that they cannot change. So you shouldn't oppress people for their race and sexual orientation is something you cannot change. Therefore, you shouldn't discriminate. Well, sure, but like, let's, when you say you shouldn't oppress somebody for things they can't change, like, I don't know if that's true. Um, like, let's say, for instance, um, what if you've got like pedophiles that want to have sex with children, right? The argument there would be, well, okay, hold on. Even if they can't change them being pedophiles, them being a pedophile or harming children is still something that's actively harmful to society. For a lot of these like theocratic societies or, or more conservative ones, they probably make similar arguments about homosexuality. That like, it's not a matter of like gay people not hurting anybody else, just the presence of gay people, period, could be like seen as a harm on society because they threaten like the traditional structure of a family, which is the foundational unit that society is built on, right? I was, I was about to say uh, that being, being a pedophile is different because being a pedophile, I mean, uh, doing pedophile activity requires you to have sex with some someone that uh, cannot consent you. Uh, but being gay, I mean, you could have you could have gay sex with people who, who are consensual. You know, it yeah, but it's not about it. it's not harm. A, it's not about it being consensual. They would say it causes harm because like that type of sexual activity is degenerate. Uh, but like they have to define why degenerate sex is bad. Right? Well, the definition would be that societies are constructed with the family unit being the fundamental unit upon which society is built. They would say that LGBT people um, threaten the integrity of that foundational family unit. Therefore, the presence of LGBT people in your society threatens the fundamental building blocks of your society. So they're just bad, period. Well, to that, I could just argue, like, how, how does uh, gays being gay uh, make make your uh, heterosexual marriages um, make it e make, an, make it any less, you know? I, I think people can still follow that argument. Uh, it's you could, just that, but then you get into yeah. weird arguments where people are like, well, gay people groom children. If children see more of it, they get confused, and now they're not sure about it. Like, um, I mean, like, it could turn into stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I guess it's true. Some people could make the argument. 
I think Taiwan is still pretty progressive. It's just on that point, some people are, I mean, rightfully calling me out, um, saying that you cannot control people's thoughts or what, how people voice their opinions. I think that is still true. Uh, so yeah, my, my principle was just that if you if you're not harming anyone, um, I, I'm not even sure if not harming anyone. Yeah, is I'm, a good, are you? Did, were you born in? Um, where were you born and raised? Where did you spend the majority of your childhood at? In China. Um. Okay, because th you, so you can tell me. Okay, I'm going by what I hear online because yeah, sure. I've never been in China. Okay, yeah, but sure. what no you're problem. saying right now is an incredibly liberal idea. That idea is right. that basically what you your what you have to do is you just can't hurt other people and everybody should have like a right to flourish in the ways that they see fit. That's a classically liberal idea. Now my understanding is that in places like China, you would never hear somebody say that. That in China it's a lot more kind of collectivist. It would be like you have an obligation to your family and to society to be in a certain way. That like and, and you, again you can remember like in China they wouldn't say like oh like it's just as long as you don't hurt another person like you're fine. It would be like no that's not enough. Like you have an obligation to act and, and conduct yourself in a certain way that's beneficial to your family and your community. Is that yeah? Is there a difference there? Yeah, do you know? Yeah. yeah go ahead. Yeah, in China yes. Uh, which 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 is why I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't do public discourse in uh, in mm -hmm. China because people have a totally different uh, way of arguing, and they mm -hmm. don't really. Sometimes they they just don't really argue in good faith. But, but well, Taiwan careful. is totally different. Taiwan it might is not a very. Be... Uh, it might not be that they're not arguing in good faith. They just have a completely and totally fundamentally different view of the world and of the responsibility yeah, of a citizen. Yes. Yeah, they're they're not liberal yeah. in the capital L. Yeah, um, I know, yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, okay. But also, some people don't <laughs> don't argue in good faith because uh, everything just comes back to the Communist Party and whatever they do is right, sure. even though by their own standards, some things that they do uh, could be wrong. But like Taiwan is very different. Taiwan is a very social, a, a very liberal mm -hmm. uh, place. It's very progressive. It's just on some issues that. Um, they 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 don't get why some things are wrong, but like I think according to their own, own moral system and standards uh, of the most people, they will see that being homophobic is harmful to their own society. So I just want to figure out like how can I argue within their own moral system, which is actually pretty similar to the U.S. or Europe, where uh, liberal being 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 free and liberalism is pretty important there. So yeah, I'm just trying to actually. Actually, what I would argue to them is how I would argue to anyone uh, that's coming from the U.S. because they pretty much have uh, a pretty similar uh, moral system. So gotcha. in yeah. that case, yeah, in that case, I feel like the way to argue this issue, I mean, you can't. So back to my argument is that don't discriminate people uh, based on what they cannot change if they're not harming anyone. Uh, I don't know if that's a good argument, but that sounds, I think it's, sounds I think pretty that's a, good in my head. Yeah, I think that's a good argument in a liberal society. <laughs> But if you're if you're yeah. dealing with illiberal people, that argument is going to be dog shit. They don't care about other people's freedoms. They care about the responsibilities that and the commitments that they have to their communities. And part of that responsibility might be to conduct yourself in a way that's not morally degenerate, because that causes a, like a moral erosion in a community. And LGBT people, for a lot of these people, would probably be considered like morally degenerate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah, in China it could be the case, uh, but in Taiwan I think people. Uh, can't see that. Uh, sure, in Taiwan, Hong Kong, these places are going to be different because they're open up to like so much like Western influence that they probably end yeah. up becoming a lot more kind of like they, they embrace, you know, tacitly like a lot of the liberal free trade values and all this stuff that kind of goes along with that. You get like a lot more cultural importation for, for, to these kinds of places. Um, I would imagine it. Yeah. yeah, which surprised me when I voiced that opinion. It was like so not widely accepted that it's not, it's generally not okay to be. Uh, to 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 be homophobic or to discriminate people based on stuff they cannot change. Mm -hmm. And when I said that, oh, I, I was talking to Chad, uh, which is like, I, I was I was saying that, oh, if you're Asian and you're in America, and, and then some white guy is like, I hate you because just because you're Asian, you wouldn't feel too good either. Mm -hmm. And people are like, no, 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 that's double standards. Your race is different than uh, uh, sexual orientation. It's totally different. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's not different, is it? It's it's something you cannot change. Well, yeah, and... but again, we're kind of circling, but like they, they would view it as different. I, I, I don't know how you would argue somebody out from that because they are different. Like you have you have to have like a fundamental conversation about like, why should we accept people of different sexualities? And that's way different than why should we accept people of different races? Because I, I think yeah. 
for, for when it comes to racism, like racism is so much easier to, to fight than like sexism or LGBT stuff because I think that racism is largely stupid. Like, and if you take somebody and you socialize them with a lot of different colored people, a lot of people that are with different racial backgrounds, like eventually you kind of be like, ah, okay, like we all do kind of the same shit. We're all like pretty human. Like it is what it is, you know? I, I think racism is like pretty easy to get rid of the socialization. Sexism is not because women and men are different. That's not some imaginated bullshit. That's some real shit. Um, wh whereas like racism, I think is largely imagined. Um, like sexism, like you can see real differences. So it's harder to get people to ignore those things. Same thing with like LGBT stuff, right? Like, um, there, like there is a difference between being gay and being straight that's gonna make it harder for some people to get over. Whereas like uh, for racism, it's like, oh, well, this is obviously dumb. Like I know a lot of friends and they're, you know, they're cool people, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, so the, the LGBT stuff is gonna be a bigger hurdle to, to overcome again, especially for people yeah. in a not liberal uh, society. <laughs> my argument would be that be it race or sex or sexual orientation, these are all stuff that you cannot change, right? So my, my foundation is that you shouldn't discriminate people based on stuff they cannot change. So sex and race and sexual orientation, these are stuff that you cannot change. So is, is there like an argument against that? Like I don't, are, are I don't think so. Say, I, or, I mean, right. I, I think they can have our, I, I think it's gonna go back to what we said before. They're gonna say like, just cause you can or can't change it. One, they'll probably just disagree. They'll say, no, being gay is a choice. People are groomed into it or whatever. Um, people will say shit like that. Um, and then two, they'll say, even if you can't change it, it's still like degenerate and it harms society. So we shouldn't tolerate it. Right, I mean, I mean, some people will have the argument uh, with uh, incest or bestiality, you know? They will sure. say like, oh, uh, being incest, uh, uh, being uh, having incest, uh, being, being in love with your family member or, Wait, but being in love with with animals or liking kids is also are also stuff you cannot change. Are those stuff that uh, you should not discriminate against? And uh, and I would say, I have to say yes. Then <laughs> I have to say yes. You you shouldn't discriminate people based on those stuff, which is which is fine. I, I think if it's like workplace, you shouldn't discriminate people based on these stuff. Sure, you should not hire people or fire people based on these stuff. I can get behind that. But when it comes to when it comes to not liking people or not voicing your, um, not voicing your dislike of them, it's harder to argue that you cannot uh, publicly voice that you don't like people who are into incest or bestiality. You no. Know? Uh, again, publicly voicing discontent is different than like discrimination. You can be discontented with anybody you want. Like if you want to voice a discontent, I think that's fine. Um, you just get into a weird world when it comes against like arguing with it. Or, or I'm sorry, when, when right. it comes like, can I actively discriminate like at the workplace or something against it, right? I see, I see. Yeah, so there's not really a big argument against you should not publicly voice your discontent about gay people. <clears throat> no, I think, I mean like even in an illiberal society, they probably would because they think gay people threaten like the natural world order. And in a liberal society, we have freedom of speech. So, I mean, you probably always voice your opinion publicly. Just be ready for blowback if you do so. Yeah, so other people can also shame you. I mean, like, uh, question why you dislike them and mm -hmm. ask good questions, I guess. All yeah. Right. yeah, that makes sense. Thank you a lot. Have a good stream. Yeah, no problem. Have fun. Be careful, buddy. Yeah, bye. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Um, well, f f I was going to say you should plug your YouTube channel, I guess. Go for it. Uh, no, it's fine. I mean, well, why, yeah, should, sure. I mean, yeah, you might as well. Fucking go for it. Because it's in Mandarin. People are not going to... Oh, is your content exclusively foreign language? Yeah, it's close. Yeah, it's exclusive Mandarin. So, oh. I mean, if you want to look it up, it's Silan Silan, and people who speak Mandarin, they will. Okay, well, uh, for my understand. Mandarin, right. for my Mandarin audience, here you guys go. <laughs> you go. Yeah, for August, I guess. Yeah, there you All go. All right. All right. Bye. See you later. Bye.